everyone, it's Julie. I am finally feeling better. I think every time I feel bad, maybe I should make a video about it because like, yeah, the next day I was like, wow, I feel so much better. I am now able to eat, which is making a huge difference. My energy is way up. I'm not like, <sighs> my body was just like not processing anything. It was just coming in straight up memories of being a vegan coming back to me but today I feel awesome knock on wood because may this trend continue maybe I'm out of the clear today is officially day 14 so yeah let's hope because that was that was rough. Let's move on to these clips that I just showed you. Doth my ears deceive me? Like what? What? Uh, and these are coming from professionals, right? Well, I, they are professionals. They're putting this information out there in order to save people from skin cancer. And perhaps this is, you know, what you're supposed to do according to whatever medical bodies but from a nutrition standpoint this is actually really kind of troubling in a sense because and don't mind my hair i don't have time to do it <laughs> but from a nutritional standpoint like if you're wearing sunscreen all the time like even indoors what you are not going to be making as much vitamin D. Now, this one Harvard article says, you know, most people don't do this, right? Most people are a bit more lazy about putting it on. They put it on sometimes, they don't put it on other times, and they're normally fine. But this kind of advice coming from dermatologists telling you you should put it on in your house, you should wear it outside all the time, you basically just need to be slathering your skin with this stuff. Um, you're not going to be making vitamin D from the sun. And that is a huge, huge shame because although I do believe we can get enough vitamin D from our food, if we really, really put a lot of effort into it, if you're eating salmon pretty much daily or salmon and maybe a few mussels and maybe some eggs and, you know, a variety of things with vitamin D in them, you probably will... Uh, be able to make enough vitamin D, which is around, I don't know, like a thousand IU-ish. Uh, Sometimes the recommendation is as low as 600 IU, but uh, you know, you could probably get around that if you're eating it from food. But the sun is such a good source of vitamin D that is invaluable, you know. Being out in the sun for 30 minutes, you know, good sun, can make from 10,000 to 20,000 IU of vitamin D. And that can get stored in your fat tissue until the next time you need it. So these stores are really, can be really important, especially for people like me who live in a Northern climate. Now, as you guys probably know from my other videos, I am not a person to really go out and get a suntan these days like I just I don't like I kind of stay this same color all year round whether it be winter or summer I'm pretty conservative with my skin I don't burn it and I don't really even try to tan anymore as a you know 30 something person I just don't kind of want to do that anymore but I actually never wear sunscreen like if I if it's hot out I'll stick a hat on and wear appropriate clothing and go out in the sun only for a little bit until I feel it on my skin and then I go and I sit in the shade like it's not hard you don't need to have sunscreen on unless you're in a situation like you're at the beach or something and there's maybe not a lot of access to shade or you're maybe doing some kind of sport competition or something like that where you know you're getting into a situation where you can't depend on there being shade and um, I mean, even then you could just dress up, you know, wear long sleeve and stuff like that. But I mean, in those situations, I usually use like a zinc cream. No, they don't look as nice. You kind of end up all white. But 
I prefer the zinc barrier to other sunscreens because it's topical. It doesn't soak into your skin. It just stays on the surface and becomes a barrier for the sun. So that's generally what I do. That's what we do for the kids. Um, the kids pretty much just always wear a hat when they go outside and their sh I make sure their shoulders are nice and covered and I watch them and make sure they're not getting too much sun, but we don't always have to put on sunscreen in order to not burn your skin. But here they're saying like any kind of tan is bad for your skin. Like this to me has crossed the line between like sensible to like fear mongering. Like are, do we really need to fear the sun so much now um, that we can't even get appropriate vitamin D? So that's kind, kind of my thing with this video I saw of these professionals answering questions or demystifying dermatological questions. Um, I know they are professionals, they have the training and it's little me going against them. So, I mean, I'll let you guys be the judge, but what do you think? Should we be wearing so much sunscreen inside the house, outside the house that we're really, I mean, logically not going to be able to make our vitamin D or should we be a little bit more conservative with the sun, but go out and get your nutrition that you need from the sun. Or maybe some people don't think the sun is a problem at all. Me, it's more like a vanity thing. Like I just don't want the wrinkles. But anyway, <laughs> that's all for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this a bit of a longer video for once. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep sending those good vibes. I can feel them. I can feel them over the interwebs coming my way thank you thank you for everyone who thought of me and um yeah sent me any kind of good prayers all right uh take care